Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. And today's video, as you can see from the title, we got a big bag today. We got a big bag today because it is time for the annual Sephora VIB sale. I make this video twice a year, once for the spring sale, once for the fall sale, because honestly, that's the only time I really shop at Sephora. I give myself grace to go ham at Sephora during the VIB sale. And somehow I keep going so ham that I keep being renewed as Rouge. Now, they do have three levels of distinction with the Sephora sale, but with Sephora in general, there's the Sephora Rouge members, there's the Sephora VIB members, and then the Sephora Beauty Insider members. Anybody who signs up for a Sephora account automatically becomes a Beauty Insider. During this sale, all Beauty Insiders get 10% off. You spend a little bit more, you get VIB, which is 15% off. Then you spend a little bit, a little bit extra more. And you get in the category that I'm in, in your Rouge, and you get 20% off of anything that you buy during the sale. Now, while this is all going on, Sephora also offers 30% off all of their collections. So Sephora has their own Sephora collection, make uh, brushes, all of that good stuff. Throughout the sale, that's 30% off starting from beginning to end. Now, the dates also change with the sale. Right now, as I'm filming this, we're in the Rouge season. So Rouge can start shopping from the 5th, April 5th is when I bought my items, all the way to the end. I think it starts the 9th for VIB, all the way to the end. And then Beauty Insiders for their 10%. Makeup, saving 20% is key. But now that I've become a fragrance girl, Huh, getting 20% off of fragrance. And we know how expensive fragrances are. It's key in the skincare too, another expensive item. As I've matured, if you've watched all my Sephora videos from the very beginning, you can see an evolution between lots and lots and lots of makeup. And then in my 30s, a little bit less makeup, more skincare, collagen, retinol, vitamin C, active ingredients that we need, honey, in this skin and then also my recent fragrance addiction. So I have a mod podge of things in this bag that I got 20% off of and I'm happy about. I'm happy that I saved. So without further ado, I'm gonna go into what I bought. And then I also made an online order. I'll go through just a couple of items. And then I'll go through some items that I recommend that I didn't necessarily buy this go around because I didn't need it this go around. But these are like heavy hitters. Like I would buy these if I needed them at the time. So. I don't even know where to begin. Should I split it up and do makeup? Then the bag is all over the place, but I'll, I'll split it up and do makeup first. Now I did buy four foundations. I said I'm not a makeup gal, but I did buy four foundations. This go around two are new for me. If you follow me on TikTok, you saw I did a what's in my cart video before the sale, maybe like Tuesday of last week. And you might notice some things 100% are on here. Some things I decided to go against because when I was in stores, I was actually physically in stores. Some things caught my eye that shouldn't have caught my eye. So something that is new and did not catch my eye was a part of my cart. It is the Makeup Forever HD Hydra Glow Foundation. Now you follow my channel, you know I love the Makeup Forever HD Foundation in general. This is what that foundation looks like. They changed the title of it again because Makeup Forever keeps changing this foundation for some odd reason. Now it's the HD Skin. So I love this foundation. I already own this foundation. I love to use it when I'm filming. I'm in the color 3Y56. I think I switched colors a bit because I think in this foundation, things were a little different. This is the HD Skin Hydra Glow. So it has a white lid, white writing on the bottle as opposed to the black writing on the HD Skin. This is what that looks like. And then this is, of course, what the OG looks like. I love the Makeup Forever HD Skin Regular Glow just spoke to me. I'm like, I want to glow. I love the HD for photography, even though it's not the foundation I have on today. I'm very excited to try the Hydra Glow just because of the added glow element of it. When I hear glow, I hear like, you know, summer, dewy. I get a lot of good vibes from this. Not that I don't feel like I glow in this. It feels like it's a natural finish. It's more of a natural finish. It's not super shiny. It's not super dewy. It's natural. It's not matte to me. I'm hoping this gives it an extra boost. I didn't want to repurchase this because this is a definitely would have been a repurchase of mine if I had not seen the glow and been like more intrigued to give the glow a try. 
same dealio. I've never tried the Summer Fridays skin tint. This is the sheer skin tint as we're about to enter spring. And then you know what comes after spring? We have summer. As we go into the summer season, I am excited to give a skin tint a try. I got this from the skincare section. Summer Fridays is located in the skincare section. Because it's a skin tint, there's not that many shades. In store, I might have seen six shades and i think that's probably the line six or seven shades of this i got 4.5 i was teetering between 4.5 and 5. i think i could have gone five this will be a summer thing for me a skin tint will be a summer thing and then of course my with the tanning with the outside activities i have planned for this summer i could probably have gone a five i'm trying to debate whether i need to take this back and get the five but the 4.5 in the skin tint it is very light coverage so do not expect the full coverage at all if you need to cover up some scars hyperpigmentation acne all of this don't get this don't get no skin tint and then my other two foundations so these are rebuys for me these are the haas labs triclone skin tech foundation we all know haas labs foundation this is it outside of it we all know what kind of time it is. If Lady Gaga ain't do nothing else, she put her foot into this foundation. This bad boy, buy it. Buy it this year. If it's your first year, buy it. And then next we have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Now, you guys know I have the mini version of it. It's the same color. It's the 8.75. I got the larger version this go around because I need to give it a go. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk used to be a favorite of mine. Then I stopped buying it for a few years. Then I bought it again, I think last sale in the small version, just to make sure that Luminous Silk was still hitting on what it needed to hit on. It was, it was. So I bought a bigger version this go around. So I bought two old foundations and then two new foundations. And one foundation I did not buy because it was not time for a re-up. I had it in my cart. Again, if you follow me on TikTok, you're like, but you said you were going to buy it. I looked in my cabinet. I have a brand new fresh one. I just opened this bad boy up this week. So I was like, uh, I think this can last to the next sale. But it is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. If you don't know, you need to know. There's only three heavy, oof, four heavy hitters in my foundation collection right now and that is the nars light reflecting it is the haas labs it is the giorgio armani luminous silk and it has been the hd skin by makeup forever love this for photography love this for everyday wear love these two for uh, elevated every day like there's every day and there's like i want to put a little bit more effort in and speaking of foundations that i have on today this is what i have on when i'm filming i do like hd skin for filming as well because that hd component always looks good in film and photography for me but then i don't know this is like I reach my hand in the drawer and my hand stumbles upon like reflecting by NARS. If you need my top four, my top four bangers, NARS, House Labs, Makeup Forever, and then the Giorgio Armani. We're going to go into a rebuy for me. It's the Hourglass Airbrush Concealer. I love this concealer. I already have one. I'm almost running low on this. I bought this maybe, was it the last sale or pre that sale? I don't know, but this tube lasts forever. I think it was the sale before the last sale. And the tube is still tubing, but I can't wait to bust this bad boy open. I love this. I will not be buying any other concealer. There's no other concealers in this bag. There's no drugstore concealers. This is the only concealer I ever wear in any of my videos. I think I'm at the age, again, I'm 34 now. I'm at the age now where I like a product. It's not about experimenting. The 20s were for me to try this, try that. But when I find something, why else am I trying anything? Like, why do I need to buy six more foundations when I know my four heavy hitters? Why do I need five concealers when I know what works for me? And this, again, does not crease on me, lasts all day on me, looks good on me. It's a light coverage. It's not heavy. I don't have acne, so I'm usually using it for brightening and under eye. So my under eye my T-zone for this area. I don't know how it would perform with covering up acne. I know everybody talks about the Kevin Aquan concealer. I'll insert that on screen right now. I hear great things about that in general. It just seems too thick for me. And I see a lot of people using that for cover-ups. 
I don't use this for cover-ups as much as I do for brightening and under eye. Another repurchase is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. I use this every single day that I'm wearing eyeliner or not eyeliner, eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. I got a new color though. I always use Odd Naturel in this stick. However, Odd Naturel was all out at my store. So I just started swatching some colors that I thought would be a good base. And I got caramel. A lot of people will use some kind of specific eyeshadow base. This is just thick and creamy enough to kind of allow for a good base for whatever eyeshadow I'm wearing. Something I did not repurchase during this sale, but I should have. I didn't get any new primers i don't think i think i'm good on primers this sale i look at my collection before i go into the sale and i'm like what do i need and throughout the year i'm filling up my cart so from the last sale on i start a new fresh cart in sephora so right now it's at a big fat zero i go through my stuff i'm running along this i'm running along that so i have a cart full i'm not sitting there cart 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 the cart's getting filled from now until i think october is when the next sale is and again i don't purchase from Sephora unless it's the sale. So the primer selection I have is good. One that I would get from Sephora is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. The primer I'm using right now. I was a little nervous about this because I thought it would be slimy, slippery. I heard good things, but I've really been loving my Bobbi Brown face base. It's such a good concealer, not super, you know, running all over the place and, and super moisturizing. So I thought this would be slippery and then drying at the same time it's not it grips the foundation again long lasting so this is a year for powders for me the powder game for me got kicked up i love le mercier translucent powder i have been wearing that for gosh has it been six seven eight years like i will use nothing there's been many a sale where you've seen me talk about it but I think I'm on a path where I just want something a little bit, if there's something that can be milled a little bit finer, just a smidge, I want to give it a go. So I bought three new uh, things this sale because I've heard so much good things about the one size translucent powder. And I've also heard good things about it for us who are melanated in the sweet honey. They didn't have a big size of the sweet honey. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get the mini of the sweet honey and then a big size of the translucent and see how I feel about this. Everybody talks about the one size setting powders. Like it's the ultimate, it's ultimate on here. And I trust Patrick Starr because I have been following him on YouTube for a decade probably now. Whenever he started, I was one of the OG followers of him. I also got Huda Beauty, her Easy Bake, another, I guess, influencer turned, well, she's, she started as an influencer, right? And turned beauty connoisseur. I love her eyeshadow palettes. I love her and Natasha Denona when it comes to eyeshadow palettes chef's kiss i got her easy bake and pound cake it is also another translucent powder i know you know I, trying to at the same time you're like well you could have just bought one one would have sufficed but no i just want to experiment this time next year i could be back to laura mercier and say neither of these worked or i could be a one size girl or i could be hue to booty whatever the case may be as i age again i don't want my powders settling we don't want that settling into fine lines as you know get a little bit more lines under my eyeballs i don't want y'all to see that i don't want people to see that powder please powder me please next for applicators i love the sephora collection brushes like their brushes are really good i have so many already in my collection and again these are 30 percent off and you can get them at any time throughout the sale the 64 pro brush and the 93 Pro Brush, this looks more to be like for a uh, contour. And then this I thought was a good foundation. Does it say on here? It does say foundation brush. I looked at it and I saw foundation and um, they number their brushes. So it's 64 Pro Foundation Brush. And this is just the Sephora 93 Pro Brush Blush. But it looks very much so more like contoury for me maybe it'll work well for blush but i probably owned every single one of the brushes from them at this point maybe i'm missing four or five and then the last makeup item that we got is the one size setting spray this this gonna hold your makeup like let's forget urban decay i'm done with urban decay again it's so funny looking at the evolution of my videos because if you watched the same sephora vib haul or my makeup videos of the past i was an urban decay girl you couldn't get me snatched away from the Urban Decay. Now I will never purchase Urban Decay anymore. 
unfortunately, I think it's probably still good. But once you have one size, I think you've had it. Your makeup, it feels like you're spraying like hairspray. The consistency was weird to me because I've sprayed, you know, sprays before and it's, you know, mist. It's a hydrating mist. This felt like, girl, what is this? This is hair. Why are you spraying hair on me? But then when you realize that your makeup stays, like it stays, like it ain't moving, like it's <laughs> locked into place. Patrick then put his foot again into the one size brand. Next, let's go into skincare. Skincare, I think, was very light for me this go around because I just have so many products that weren't time for their renewals. But one thing it was time for was a new cleanser. I love the fresh. I love the fresh soy cleanser. I, I know. I know. Y'all, like you always every year say the soy fresh. I got the kale, green tea, spinach, vitamin, superfood cleanser from Youth to the People. I have nothing from this brand, but I hear nothing but good things about this cleanser. I'm excited to try this a little bit more on the pricey side. The Incubus are my two serum favorites. The serums that I re-upped on are the Hyaluronic Acid and then the Retinol. So always going to re-up on those products. And I think that's it for skincare that I have. I bought in stores. It wasn't time for a new Tatcha Dewey skin. I'm always going to use the Tatcha Dewey skin. That's, that's going to be my moisturizer. I don't use nothing else. The Laneige lip, that's always what I'm going to use on my lips. Toners, I could have got a new one. I am running low on my The Ordinary Toner. I have been using this toner and loving it recently. So I could have. I didn't realize when I, until I got back, I was like, oh, I could have bought a new toner. But I also have a full bottle of the Dermalogica Multi-Active Toner. And I usually buy this from Amazon because it is affordable. Even though it would have been good to save a little bit, it is affordable on its own. So I suggest you guys don't have to buy it during the sale, but I love this toner. The two fragrances I bought in stores are little fragrances, but I bought some other fragrances. So I'll get to that in my online order. You guys know I feel so weird buying fragrances in the store. Not weird, but I don't know if your Sephora is the same way, but ours are locked up. I'm sure it's just because of all the theft. If you've seen all those viral videos of people running into a Sephora and stealing all the fragrances, fragrances cost a lot of money. And so if they can resell those, they have make buku. They can even sell it at half off for some of these bottles and still make buku money. So the thieves are smart and stealing. You don't need to go and get a bunch of retinol canes for $7. They're going to get the fragrances. So I feel weird like even lingering around the fragrances and asking for help because I feel like, I don't know, I was like, they know I'm not going to steal. I know I'm not going to steal. But like, I'll just buy it online. I'll just buy it online. I'm weird like that. So I bought two travels though, the travel sizes of two fragrances that I love from Sephora. It's the Prada Paradox and the My Way. So I got the full size bottles of these and I love these. I'm a florals girl. So if you notice anything in the pattern of things I buy, I'm very florals. I'm not a heavy vanilla girl. Oh, I know. And I'm not a heavy fruity girl. I do think I could be a fresh clean girl. I just don't have a lot of fresh clean scents. I want to venture out in there a little bit. I want to step away from florals because I know down hard for the florals. If I got a white musk base, I'm in there. If it has jasmine, I'm in there. If it has like a little bit of vanilla, but it has that musk in it, I'm in there. Like, I'm a florals girl. It's just who I am deep down. So I got two travel sizes of those because there are times if I'm traveling somewhere, I want this either by plane or in my purse. I think these will be great to throw in my purse. I'm going to probably throw Prada Paradox in my purse because I... It's addicting scent. And then my way I'll put in my luggage. So if I could suggest any three fragrances for you guys during the sale, or maybe a little bit more than three. Prada Paradox is that girl. It is that girl if you want a sweeter floor. A lot of people say it's sweet. Some people say it's super sugary. Like they feel candy. They feel, I've heard someone say Skittles or any of that. People's nose hit different on certain scents. For me, it does open to a very fruity burst, but I think it dries down for me very floral. Floral spring, like it sits in that. This is just kind of a old money florals. I want to say, I do want to say like, you know what I thought? Um, 
white diamonds would smell like. I just always thought that was like an older person scent. This feels like a mature scent to me, a mature floral scent to me. One of you guys suggested me to get, I think it's one of these videos. I think I made this video last year. Of course, I made this video two times last year. And one of you guys suggested the Coral Fantasy to me because I had bought Donna Born and Roma. I do like Coral Fantasy more than the Donna Born and Roma. I know a lot of people love Born and Roma, but a lot of people have been liking her flankers a lot more. A lot of people have been liking Coral Fantasy and that green bottle one. I'll put the green bottle one on the screen. And the fourth fragrance that I would say, you know what time we on. I rate this higher than all. This is girly floral who might like a little bit of vanilla, a bit, a touch of it. I believe it has a touch of vanilla in it, but they came out with a new one. And I, I bought this, uh, you know, just immediately, immediately after this drop, this drop in the US, maybe a month and a half ago. And I was like, if I love this, this is my number one Sephora fragrance. I do have other number one fragrances like Delina Exclusive, but that is not at Sephora. I do like Baccarat Rouge. That is not at Sephora. But this is my number one probably Sephora that purchase that I can get. I bought this because it's the Elixir. It's the Good Girl Blush Elixir. So you can see the pink shoe. It's just a little bit like of a black in the pink shoe. It's just like a little extra. You think it's spicy or you think it's going to be sexier. I like this more. I don't know. It's it's something about this. I don't hate this, but I do. It's rare that I like the original more. And it's not even the original because Good Girl is the original. Then Very Good Girl and then Good Girl Blush. And then but there's so many flankers of Good Girl. It's getting crazy. Now there's a flanker of Good Girl Blush. Like it's it's getting out of hand. I think save your money. You don't need the elixir. If you like Good Girl Blush, I think you're settled in that. The elixir to me wasn't worth it so let's go through my order so i did come home afterwards because i want to buy everything i want to get all the money out my account in one moment like i want every single dime that i was going to spend at sephora to come out at one time so i came back home and got some things that either a i didn't want to buy in stores or i couldn't find in stores etc the one thing i wanted in store but i couldn't find it was the makeup by mario surreal foundation f4 brush i found every single f1 f2 f3 E1, E2, E3, 4, like I could not find the F4. It might have been in a different a location or something, but I hear that brush is so good for foundation applications. And recently I've switched over. I love my Real Technique sponge. I think that's who makes it, the Real Technique sponge, Beauty Blender, all of that. But I don't know, I've been leaning to a brush more often. I applied my foundation with a brush today. I don't know what it is, but both my concealer and my foundation have been going on so smoothly with the brush that I hear great things about this brush. I'm excited to try that. The Inky List 15% Vitamin C EGF Brightening Serum. I'm running low on my vitamin C right now and I've been using the Polish Choice and I think it's good. I think it's just expensive and I don't want to repurchase it if I'm not seeing that huge of a result like i use it for i love vitamin c for the brightening i think you can just get that for a little bit cheaper um so i'm going to try the inky list a new product for me got the glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide hue drops with the sun glow oil just they have the drops and the drops are very uh, popular i know the niacinamide drops are very popular they had it one that has a little bit of hue to it i'm excited to try that again for days where i'm not wearing makeup and i want a little bit of edit burst i'm excited for this little added burst next you already knew i was gonna buy one of jackie Anna's new perfumes like <laughs> why would i not go through this sale without trying the jackie Anna perfume now i've heard so many of the reviews I, it's already been out now for as you're watching this probably a week it released this week earlier this week and i've heard the reviews and you know i've listened to that just everyone's reviews i have a solid couple four or five people that i follow on TikTok specifically for the reviews because i trust their reviews and they're black women so i'm i'm trusting to they love jackie i needed people who were going to be objective about this fragrance to hear their thoughts on it and a lot of the concerns i've heard are you know the longevity isn't there and the projection isn't there those are my two biggest factors like a lot of people say, I don't care about longevity. I can reapply it. I don't want to be out on the streets and have to reapply. No, this is a spray and done. Like I don't, I'm not reapplying nothing. So longevity for me is high up. 
Some people, it's their number four thing they're looking for. For me, it's top two. And projection is top two, too. I want you to smell me. So you need to be able to smell me. I don't want to be able to smell me. I mean, I want to be able to smell me, but you better be, you better give me compliments. So projection and longevity, I mean, coupled with everything, it has to be a scent profile I love. I can't just put on, you know, something I'm not going to like. The scents don't hit my nose right. The scent I did go with, I forgot I didn't even mention. I went with You Remind Me. I think it was You Remind Me and I'm forgetting the other name. NDA was not speaking to me. The notes were not speaking to me. I, I just didn't think that was my cup of tea. I can't, I'm forgetting the name. I'll start it right now on screen, the other one, but I couldn't find it online. It wasn't online, the second scent that I was really looking for. I am her. It's called I am her. She is me. I am her. That scent profile, both of these spoke to me. The other two didn't speak to me. I'm going to support everything black though, okay? I hear the concerns. I hear everything, but I own Daisy Love and the projection on that sucks. Like I have scents up here that the projection is, is sucks, but I bought that. So if I'm going to buy something that does not last a lot, I'm going to support her. And so no matter what, I don't have any forever move candles because I love a candle person, but I don't burn them quick enough to be a candle girl like that. I supported her when I bought her palette. I do own Jackie Ina's eyeshadow palette. I'm going to support her in areas that I support. I like eyeshadow. I'm going to buy her eyeshadow. I love perfume. I'm going to buy her perfume. I'm not going to buy all four now. You know, so many people bought Beyonce is because it's Beyonce, but Jackie is a fragrance girl. You look at her, you think clean, you think smell. She's been in the scent space for a while. I bought it. It's coming. I'll probably wear it whenever it comes as the my, my fragrance of the week. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, every Friday I do a fragrance Friday. I forgot to do it yesterday. Today is Saturday. So I'll do my fragrance Friday today after I film this. But I do my fragrance Friday, either fr every Friday or Saturday on my channel. It is the fragrance that I wore for the week. And I give you guys my rundown on everything about it. Someone asked me recently, can I do a perfume collection video? I just am trying to sit in my fragrance for a little bit longer and just be able to talk to them as best I can. Like I have a collection, but I really want to sit with each fragrance wear it out, get the compliments, see what other people smell, like see what I smell. So I'm going to have a perfume collection video. It's just going to be some time. So give me a little bit of time as I work through all my fragrances and literally, you know, get my scent on with them. My next thing on the purchase, it's much cheaper than I remember it being in the past, but I got an Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. And you're probably like, well, you own that palette. Yes, I own this palette. I have a Soft Glam. A Soft Glam I probably bought eight years ago. When I think about when I bought South Glam, I've lived here for almost five years. I lived at my last place for, were we there for three so and so years? I bought it, I think I bought it while I lived there. So about eight years ago, this palette cannot be good. It can't be still good. And I'm thinking about it just from a health perspective. I'm putting this on my eye. It's too close to an area. It says 18 months on here. We're clearly blew past the 18 month preference on this. I think a lot of people are sitting with their old South Glam. They're sitting with their old palette. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But me, my eyes have been super sensitive, especially now because it's allergy season. I just bought some eye drops. I'm using them all nonstop because of the rubbing, the itching of my eye. My eye is such a sensitive space. I think I can spare the $45 to finally, finally, finally give me a new soft glam. I feel like I probably haven't touched this as much because it's so old, but it's just sitting there. And it's like, Leah, get a new soft glam. It's a little dent in here from when I, I remember when I was moving, I think I made that dent. Yeah, that palette's about eight years old. I can spare the $45, it was 20% off, to get finally a new palette because that's my number one palette. Anastasia, Natasha Denona, and Huda Beauty make the bomb palace. You don't need anything. That's the big three right there. And last but not least, I got Killian, Love, Don't Be Shy, The Travel Spray. Now, if you followed me on TikTok, you saw my video. I had that in my cart. I had the full size bottle in my cart. I kept wondering why my cart was so expensive, and then I looked at the price of it. The full size bottle of Killian, Love, Don't Be Shy. It's about $295, $295. And I know you can get 20% off. I know you can get 20% off. I've smelled Killian Love, Don't Be Shy. I like it. But I need to make sure I can sit with it for a little bit of time before I buy the whole thing. So I bought the travel size of Killian Love, Don't Be Shy. A lot of people compare it to Oriana. But I've had to look over it. 
one of my fragrances a lot of people compare it to and it's just a toned down i think oriana is sweet it's for the fruity girl somebody su suggested oriana to me as well and i was like i don't think you understood the assignment because <laughs> it's, it's it's good it's good but it is it is two notches away from being overpowering a lot of people say love don't be shy it is a little bit toned down of oriana by perfumes de marley so I'm excited to try it in the travel size. And then we can work up to a big size because I don't think I would repurchase Oriana. It's good. It's good. But it's a lot. It's a lot in terms of smell. The marshmallow, I think, is the note that carries over between the two of them, which is why people say they smell the same. But, you know, again, two fragrance purchases this go around. That was a lot to be covered in this time frame. But as I'm filming this, we are still in Rouge. We're only one day into the sale. I'm going to get this video up if I can, if I force myself to get it up to you guys on Monday so you guys can have this video as just kind of an anchor. Again, I think I've got my things that I love, I need. I will not be talking about Sephora or making any other Sephora content videos until October. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Even if you didn't, still give it a big thumbs up. We want all the love and support on this video as well as we want you to subscribe so you don't miss a thing that we have going on and that notification bell on so you are sure that you don't miss it be sure you're following me on instagram at lelavon89 to keep up with my shenanigans in real time tiktok at lelavon which is a few more shenanigans a bit more real time and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye